Wyoming, Ohio is at the center of an international spotlight today as Otto Warm Beer is laid to rest. More than 2,000 people came to Wyoming High School to pay their respects. The college student died a week after returning home from North Korea in a coma where he had been imprisoned for 17 months. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch is live in Wyoming now to tell us how Warm Beer's death is being reported in South Korea. Jeff. Well, good evening. Of course, the funeral service was here at Wyoming High School because Otto Warmbier is a 2013 graduate of Wyoming High. Uh, there was a TV crew here, I think more than one TV crew from South Korea. I saw the BBC, all of the national U.S. networks were here. But to the people who came to the service, to the 2,000 plus people who came, the reason they came was to show the Warmbier family that they cared. People who live in Wyoming call it the bubble a safe and comfortable community insulated in many ways from the world's troubles. But lately, Wyoming has been in the world's spotlight because one of its residents was held prisoner in North Korea. The simple truth is that North Koreans have demonstrated not only do they have no regard for the rule of law and the basic freedoms that we enjoy and so many other people in the world enjoy, but it goes beyond that. Uh, they showed a lack of respect for basic human dignity. Otto Warmbier was on a tour in North Korea. His crime, stealing a political banner, his sentence, 15 years hard labor. At the funeral service today in Wyoming, worldwide media were here, including a crew from South Korea. Uh, I think it's the biggest story right now. It's just grip. It's, Koreans are equally shocked as Americans right now. Uh, American citizen was detained there. It's the first time when the, uh, the citizen has come back and died. So that's very, very shocking. Otto was in a coma for more than a year. Is there a real curiosity as to what really happened to him over there? Oh well, yes, I think there will always be that. Um, and that's something we may never know. Here in front of Wyoming High School, there's a walkway where students who graduate can buy commemorative bricks. And if you come over here and look down, one of them, the class of 2013, is Otto Warmbier. Who would have ever imagined that this honorary graduation brick would, in effect, turn into a memorial gravestone? Otto Warmbier has become a footnote in an international geopolitical drama. But to people in his hometown, he's simply a young life gone too soon. This isn't an opportunity for second guessing. This isn't an opportunity to turn it into a political issue. Otto doesn't necessarily need to be the face of any type of political anything. He just needs to be a wonderful kid who's going to be remembered for being a wonderful kid. Let me tell you something about Otto Warmbier. There was a, a young man I talked to today. He said he went with, to, uh, with Otto to middle school. We're talking about 10 years ago. And this particular young man said that he himself was not really part of the cool kids crowd, but that Otto was. Otto was an athlete, this other kid was not. But this kid remembers from 10 years ago that Otto treated him with dignity and respect. And we all know in middle school that's not that easy. That's the kind of guy he was that brought out 2,000 people here today. Live in Wyoming, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Back to you. Yeah, that speaks volumes, Jeff. Thank you. There are still three Americans detained in North Korea.